In addition to working with existing editable content that might be at that draft workflow status or still in the review cycle, we can also work with content that has been released by creating a new version of this. So pain points is a good example. It's telling us this is released. I can, as an author with permission, click the new version button. And since we're creating a new version of the content, it's gonna ask us to confirm the properties for that. And if we wish to make any changes, I'm gonna go ahead and click create. Then we're gonna see the screen refresh and pain points is now in a draft state. So now I can go ahead and make updates to this. And you'll see that the content is editable and it's now been checked out to me. Now, the properties that we saw appear on screen when we go to create any new components or new versions, they're also available at any point in time from the right hand tab, the properties tab. You'll see the exact same information here that was presented to me. This is showing just the required fields. There are further optional fields. And if we scroll down through this, you'll see that version is indeed version two. So this pain points topic has been versioned from version one to version two, and now we're at a draft state and we can continue to make changes. This properties list, by the way, contains a lot of information standard out of the box metadata fields are listed here but also this is highly configurable typically with a customer implementation you will have your own metadata properties that you wish to use to track your content lifecycle. now let's look at how we create a new component so similarly to inserting an existing one into our document structure i can also go ahead and insert a new component DraftSpace is going to present us with a wizard in three stages. Firstly, I'm going to select which folder I wish to save this new component in. So I'm going to create a topic. I'm going to select the topics folder. Then on stage two, I'm presented with a list of available templates. So these are the standard Ditto XML templates that sit within the system. And you can see how some of them have different placeholder text and structures. So you can see here more involved structure with a task template, for example. These templates are configurable to give different guidance to your authors based on your information architecture. And the third stage is to give this a title and insert it. It's gonna drop it into place in our document. And of course, it's also created it in the Tridian Docs content store. And now I can work with the task structure in this case and fill in my information as needed to populate this. Given this topic is a task template and it has specific structures, we have an additional task menu now, which gives us those available structures for the task. I'm gonna go ahead and save all my various changes that I've been making here. Now, say I wanted to collaborate with someone on this sales process, I wanted them to author the rest of this. I can copy a link to Draft Space in the same process for Review Space. For Reviewer, I can copy a link for Draft Space that I can then uh, make available, send to someone. When they click on that link, they will then be taken directly to that publication and navigate directly down to that sales process topic. And that's one of the ways that you can share and collaborate on the content. So multiple people can be reviewing or editing and working within an overall publication.